So I just uploaded a video. You guys might have just now saw it. And I was about to go get ready to enjoy Monday Night Football with my girlfriend and watch a little bit of, you know, the fantasy sports. And then I checked Twitter and I see Tony Win updating us that the patch notes that are coming tomorrow when Rick releases tomorrow, which is what that video was about earlier, uh, has been released. And I clicked on it. And uh, you know what? I was like, man, let's record this video. We got to talk about this ASAP. And I am not refreshing this page because you guys remember what happened to us live when we refreshed it. They took the patch notes down and it was ridiculous. And before we get into the video, make sure you guys drop a like. Let's get this video over 2,000 likes to celebrate the release of Rick Sanchez coming to multiverses. And also, uh, you know, if your character got buffed, of course. And also consider subscribing. We just hit 100,000 subscribers, but we are on our way to 500,000, guys. We just need you guys' help in order to do that really do appreciate it a lot and i'm sorry that i was away but we are back now and we're talking about more multiverse stuff so i hope you guys are excited and ready so let's start this off this is patch 1.03 and it is coming tomorrow when rick releases it should be uh this if they follow the same schedule it should be releasing around 12 p.m uh servers will go down for about an hour rick and the new patches will be applied at 1 p.m eastern time but you will be able to download it earlier than that because the servers have to be maintained so starting off with the general side of things rick sanchez joins multiverses rick is a new mage character joining the roster the XP required to go from level 3 to 15 on the character mastery track has also been doubled. We were finding that players could get to level 15 on the mastery track too quickly, and this helps us to make it a bit more of a journey. Double the amount of time to get to level 15 from 3 to 15. So all you guys that grinded out all the characters, not a big deal to you. But uh, if you guys are trying to <laughs> get those characters to 15, it will take a little bit more time. Loading performance improvements for PS4 and Xbox One. This is huge, actually. A lot of players... Uh, you'll load in and you'll notice that they're not moving and they'll get hit a couple times and then they'll start moving. That's because they're playing on console. Most notably, the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, which are having loading issues and uh, players are just getting killed early because they can't get into the game as fast as everybody else. It's messed up. Initial free character from completing the intro tutorial has been switched to Shaggy from Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman can now be purchased for gold or gleamium. Not bad, actually. Actually, kind of makes more sense. I mean, Wonder Woman, to me is a very basic bare bones fundamental character to pick up and play as but to me you know like shaggy seems like you know what max calls it the shoto character uh basically the ryu and ken of multiverses uh the mario of smash bros you know uh, i feel like shaggy is that character so it was a little weird to see that it was wonder woman but glad to see that it has been changed to shaggy don't know why they didn't think about that initially attack the case steps have been added into the intro tutorial nice okay so a new tutorial has been included in this patch notes fix an issue in co-op versus ai that was causing only wonder woman and rain dog bots to appear uh, that's kind of funny eh? <laughs> fix the bug where some players weren't able to equip profile icons and fix the bug where the game would occasionally freeze at the end of the game screen solid stuff overall and as you guys can see pretty sure you saw from the previous screen we got some new skins uh, we got actually two new skins for rain dog this is pretty badass i'm not gonna lie i love the second one golden rain dog uh definitely gonna be getting this one chef rain dog is all right you know what i mean but i mean yo look at this, this is some smite shit right here i absolutely love that and then we go down and uh steven universe got a tiger millionaire steven skin i don't get the reference i haven't watched um steven universe but i'm sure chat will let me know exactly what's going on here uh, I don't know. I just I see this and I immediately think about Garfield. He just has the snout, right? And they break it down and show that Chef Rain Dog is now available. It doesn't say that it's purchasable gold, like the second Golden Rain Dog skin, which is now available and only purchasable with gold. This might be for money, and this will be uh, in-game currency. Love to see that the cooler-looking skin, in my opinion, is with free currency that you can unlock in the game. And that doesn't seem to be the case with Tiger Millionaire as well. Because, I mean, you do got to be you, you got to be stacking some guap if you want to buy some skins in this game. They got some uh, bug fixes for the Twitch extension. And they added a fighter voting, which allows broadcasters to poll their audience on which fighters to play. And viewers who have multiverses gets bonus votes. Added the ability for viewers who have multiverses to claim free toast from the Twitch channels running the extension. I do have this extension enabled on my channel. But a lot of my viewers watch the streams on uh, mobile rather than um, PC. So the extension is really not being used that much, but you know, it is what it is. Let me know, comment below if you guys are using Twitch or you're watching my streams in general 
on PC or are you watching it on your mobile devices whenever we go live? And this is a big one right here, guys. <laughs> I actually like this one and I'll show you why in a second. Gameplay systems update anti-infinite combo system. We've implemented a new anti-infinite combo system that will decay all subsequent attacks if the same attack has been used four or more times in the same true combo. The goal is to put a global soft cap on infinite combos and make combos more creative. We hope the change pushes players to explore new and more exciting combo routes. We were considering the max number of the same attack being used to be three, but we wanted to more evaluate the changes slowly. We're going to be evaluating the change and it's open to feedback on how we can improve the system. So right now, if you use the same attack four times in a combo, it will essentially make it easier for the opponent to get out of it. They were thinking about making it three and still are, but they're going to see how four works out and if three will be needed in the future. Now, for those that are like wondering what the hell are these infinites, I'm sure a lot of you guys know. But uh, check this bullshit right out here. This is the grade A bullshit Bugs Bunny stuff, man. Infinites, they're, they're cool. But like shit like this, bro, this is just I got I got bought by this. I'm not going to lie. I got three stocked by a really good Bugs player who's actually on my team now to uh, play against the cat. RIP to that uh, LeBron player. But essentially the same thing happened to me and uh, devs don't like it as well. So that has been changed. And then finally, the option to choose between four directions or eight directions for the right stick control C stick has been added to the settings menu. If you're using a GameCube controller, like, you know, that has the ridges of the eight directions that you can choose from, right? It is eight, right? I'm pretty sure it's eight. Uh, they added that specifically to the settings, which is cool. Projectile system. We're continuing to update the projectile systems in this patch. The most notable addition is the inclusion of a new light projectile. Classification for projectiles that deal no knockback. The only light projectiles in the game for now are Rick's Uncharged Blaster. <laughs> Did see a few of that, uh, you know, showcased on Reddit a few months ago, but that's cool. And uh, I don't know if they know if they did this in the previous one, but uh, they updated the way that the stuff looks so in the bug icon is for bug fixes uh changes will be uh the wrench buff is gonna be a plus sign and this arrow pointing down is a nerf which is kind of confusing i feel like it should have been just the minus sign because i feel like i'm gonna keep trying to click this to expand it because there's more to see but i, I don't know that that's just me i guess starting with aria as always she got some bug fixes fixed a issue where Arya could deal much more damage than intended. That don't seem like an issue uh, for Arya mains. <laughs> Fix a bug on her neutral special. Fix issues that were causing hitboxes on stolen attacks to not hit reliably. That's good. You always want to see the character function much more uh, reliably. We're still looking at updates to Arya's up special, but could use more time to make it right. Expect an update in the near future. Okay, that's uh, because a lot of players are not really feeling, uh, enjoying the up special uh, kill confirm with Arya. It doesn't necessarily kill confirm every single time. It's pretty inconsistent so it looks like there's going to be uh looking into tweaking that as the patches roll out next up is bugs bunny this bitch down air attack the hitbox is slightly smaller to better match the visuals okay i mean that's good for the down air attack but what about the up air man the up air is the biggest problem in my opinion that shit reaches all the way in front and behind him it's it's silly. I know they nerfed the whiff frames on it, but still, man. I mean, it's it's still a running rampant, and it's a reliable kill confirm for him. I don't think that it shouldn't be a reliable kill confirm for him. He should still be able to kill with it. However, I don't think it should hit behind Bugs Bunny. That's unfair, bro, because you could dodge out of the way correctly, get behind him in the air, and it still hits you, and you die. It's messed up. Next up is Finn. He got a bug fix for his side air attack. You no longer ignore air special limits when branching into the attack. I didn't even know that was a thing. Interesting. Comment below if you guys noticed that before. Air down attack. Instant cancel on hits removed. Oh no. That actually might mess up some combos right there. I'm pretty sure some players were able to find some really interesting setups with that. And ground side air attack. Instant jump cancel on hits has been removed as well. Didn't know those were things. Did not know at all. So I guess you can't down air and on a hit cancel it into an up special to confirm it into it. But it is what it is. Finn is still pretty good. Garnett got buffs all around. Uh, she did receive some buffs in the previous patch, but it looks like she's getting some more this time around. Her ground down attack. Garnett now retains some of her velocity moving into the attack. So she's going to be moving quicker into her ground down attack. Ground up attack. Recovery reduced by three frames on hit. So you'll be able to follow up quicker with an attack on the enemy once you land the ground up attack. Air down attack. Hitbox active frames start two frames earlier. Holy shit, she's getting the, she's getting the Bugs Bunny uh, buffs here. <laughs> Basically, her air down attack, her down air attack, essentially her spike, will activate two frames earlier, making it easier to land. And side attack one combos better into side attack two. I, 
Why does it say that? Wasn't that the buff from the previous? Okay, whatever. Air neutral attack. Recovery reduced by three frames on hits. Good stuff all around. Garnet's getting a little bit better. Garnet mains are, uh, you know, let me know in the comments. How you feeling? How you feeling about this? Uh, is it better than the previous patch? I haven't played since the previous patch, so uh, it's going to be interesting to see what it's like now. Gizmo got some changes. Buffs all around. Gizmo's jump speed got increased to 3,700 when it was down from 3,400. Good. Overall, much faster. Air, ground, and neutral special. Music note lifetime extended to 10 seconds from 9 seconds. One more second makes a big difference, honestly, especially with all the music notes that he can stack on the field. That's a big deal. Ground side special. Car is now classified as a heavy projectile. Definitely good. I love that. That breaks armor. Air side special. Recovery reduced by 5 frames. Let's go. To me, this was the main kill move I was trying to use with Gizmo. So seeing that this has been buffed, uh, not necessarily in damage, but how much and how often you can use it and also follow up with attacks afterwards. Love to see that. Air down special can now jump cancel out of the attack. That is the butt slam attack. So you can jump cancel out of it. That's pretty good. Especially if you know if the opponent knows you're going for it, you can just jump out of it, bait them essentially. So that's that's a good thing to see. Probably got a fix for her down special, a bug fix. Fix an issue where Jack in the Box would sometimes not hit overlapping enemies. Didn't know that was an issue, but like I said, Harley Mains, if this is making you happy, let me know in the comments below. Iron Giant. Bug Fix Neutral Special. Bolts will no longer be destroyed when they exit the Blast Box, but Iron Giant is not KO'd. Uh, does this does this mean if the bolts are on Iron Giant and he's like out of the blast zone off the screen they won't disappear was that an issue before or does it just actually mean the bolts when he's like laying them around let me know guys what you think if you know if you're iron giant main please inform your boy and the people in the comments below jake air and ground down special while in the house and on the ground jake will no longer bounce grounded opponents nerf ground down attack got a nerf recovery increased by four frames on whiff slash miss just to let you guys know whiff means missing uh, I do think his up smash attack, the axe attack, is a little, like, ridiculous. Because they did say that they made it so that it has more end lag. But you can cancel it before the move ends when it would still hit an enemy. And Jake can freely move. It's, it's just ridiculously hard to punish this character. Shout out to uh, Straight Strippin' who whooped my ass playing as Jake. Crazy comeback. LeBron got some changes, bug fixes, a buff, and two nerfs. So, uh, experimental tag has been removed. That seems like that'll be the case for Morty as well, as I'm seeing down here. For those that don't know, the newer characters that have come out, uh, Iron Giant, I don't think has it anymore. But uh, Experimental Tag will be removed from LeBron and Morty. Actually, I think it might still be on Iron Giant because he still is a work in progress. and has a lot of bugs, so I don't think they're going to remove Experimental Tag from him just yet. Uh, bug fix on LeBron. Fix the bug that will cause the ball to disappear when thrown close to the enemy. That's got to be very frustrating. Air and Ground Neutral Special. When an ally receives a pass, they admit a small explosion to knock away enemies. Very good for teams. I, I wonder how significant that's going to be. No look pass basketball speed increased to 3200 from 3000. So slightly faster on the pass projectile speed and two nerfs. Air and ground down special no longer blocks heavy projectiles and uh, basketball air neutral attack no longer breaks armor on first hit. That's uh, going to be kind of a rough one right there going against like Wonder Woman and Superman. But it is what it is. Morty got the uh, experiments attack removed. And then the Shaggy is uh, two nerfs. Air side special recovery increased by three frames on miss. They're just like tweaking this move's nipples hard, man. I swear. Air neutral attack no longer breaks armor on first hit. What was his neutral air attack? It was the, the Yoshi foot pedals, right? That's interesting. I mean, it's multi-hitting, so... I wonder if uh, initially that was meant to be. Steven Universe got a change. Smooth out movement so the attack won't hitch. Uh, his air and ground up special. Ground side attack. This is his jab. Smooth out movement so the attacks also won't hitch. First attack now branches earlier into the second attack. Second attack can branch earlier into the final attack. And forward movement during attacks increase so that they hit more reliably. So your jab got better, Steven. And overall, three other things too. Air side attack. Increase knockback scaling to 14.5 from 13.5. So this is going to kill a little bit more. Steven's horizontal kill power was very low. We hope this change will help him in this aspect. When it comes to knockback, an increase by one does provide a significant difference. So let me know, Steven Mains, how this feels for you guys tomorrow. Air and ground side special. Increase projectile speed slightly. Oh man, Steven is uh, schmoving in this one right here. An air down attack. Hitbox active frame starts two frames earlier. Him and Garnett got the same treatment. Damn. Steven Universe Mains. 
Uh, how are we feeling? This looks freaking pretty good. Now we're on Superman. Ground up attack. Got a nerf. Well, nerfs all around for this character. Damn. Reduce the charge, knockback, scaling to 1.5 times from 2.0 times. So it's not going to be a uh, charge knockback of two times. It'll just be a 1.5 times, which is still a lot, technically. Charge cancel reduced by four frames. And this should make the attack slightly more of a commitment. So you have to commit before you uh, really engage with this attack. And think about it. You can't just be throwing it out nonstop. Ground neutral attack. Charge cancel reduced by four frames. So you can't. Okay, okay, so it seems like, you know, Superman mains were able to, like, charge up a smash and then move. Charge up a smash and move and just, like, let it go randomly and in time, like, hit against you. So, like, now it doesn't seem like that necessarily will be the case. Might be a little bit more difficult for them to do that. Air up special. Recovery increased by 12 frames on miss. Damn, that is very significant. So, like, uh, you know, if, if you're in the air and he tries to grab you and you dodge it or you bait it out and dodge it, you actually have a decent punish window now to punish Superman. Not bad. I like that. Lowered base knockback of the down throw, and this should help make the wall camping strategies less effective. Superman main's popular thing that they would like to do is when they're coming back onto the stage, they hold the, the ledge on the stage, and they wait for somebody to come and try to spike them. They up special, grab them, and throw them down. Seems like they nerfed this technically twice because the, the base knockback of the down throw has been lowered, and uh, there's also some more frames increased on it if they miss so there that that is what it is and tom and jerry got some uh some buffs and a nerf let's see ground side attack hitbox active frame window increased by two frames so this move got better technically recovery increased by four frames on whiff okay so if he misses it can't okay so they can't just be throwing this out like how they normally do same thing goes for the ground attack side too air side attack however got its uh recovery reduced by three frames and the land cancel reduced by seven frames damn Air down attack, recovery reduced by three frames, and recovery land cancel window removed forward by three frames. Push knockback angle to be more horizontal. Okay, I wonder if this will still allow people to do the void uh, down air attack combo. Let me know if that is the case. Uh, I wonder if that essentially is uh, what, what it is, because I know that uh, that essentially was the only thing that Tom had in, in terms of like consistent combo and getting damage. But uh, they took it away, and now it seems like they brought it back, maybe? Maybe you're able to do it, like, three times now, now that it launches more horizontally. I wonder what it is. And then air and ground neutral special. Jerry returns back to Tom if he's killed when attached to an ally. Great for teams. Velma got a bug fix. Ground up special. Fix the bug where Velma's bio wouldn't apply stacks of ice reliably. Then she got another couple changes. Air and ground neutral attack. Bug fix. Pseudo speech bubble no longer consumes one additional ammo. And ally enhanced speech bubbles no longer apply one stack of weaken. I thought that was the case already. I think these are like previous things that it, they already did. An air down attack. Push the knockback angle to be more horizontal. Interesting. She's not going to be spiking off the edge as easy. But it's, I, uh, I, wonder, I wonder how that's going to look. I got to check those out tomorrow. And then... Final two nerfs, air and ground up air, recovery increased by three frames, and air and ground neutral special. Ally enhanced beam no longer applies one stack of weaken, and uh, ally enhanced beam base, knock base knockback reduced from 1750 to 1600. So it's going to be weaker. And that's it for the patch notes when it comes to tomorrow with uh, Rick releasing. It's exciting. I mean, I was, <laughs> this is the last time, I think this was one of the last videos I had posted, guys. Uh, the beta 1.02 patch notes and then i had to leave and i was gone for a significant amount of time but i'm back now and it seems that uh with me coming back we also got a new patch coming out and rick is dropping and overall it's going to be a busy week for multiverses and a pretty exciting one let me know in the comments below if you guys are looking forward to any of these changes which ones do you absolutely love and which ones do you absolutely hate be sure to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe if you are new more multiverses news guides and tip videos are on the way and you won't want to miss them my name is blitz and thanks for watching